was playing professionally by the age of 12 in the early 50s. He appeared on shows like Don Messer and Cross Canada Barn Dance. He moved to the province of Quebec in 1962, and he worked on television shows there for eight years. He still makes his home in Montreal and tours the Maritimes and Quebec extensively, as well as the rest of Canada. Ralph, where were you born? I was born in a little town in Nova Scotia, Rockport. From a musical family? Yes. Your mother, you were telling me before, was a music teacher. Well, she played piano and she taught music. Yeah, now did that help you? I mean, were you a good music student? Not really, because uh, I didn't want to do it the way she wanted me to do it. I preferred to learn it more by ear. I thought I would have <laughs> No, actually, I got the bells in there, too. It's all right. Still having her there in the house did help me. So how did you pick up guitar, then? Well, my brother used to own a guitar, and he used to hide it so nobody could touch it. He was a an art. I waited until he went to work, and I used to steal his guitar. But I, uh, I didn't do like Paul. I put it back afterwards, and he never knew I had it. So just one day he discovered his baby brother could play guitar. Right. Yes. What song were you playing? Well, I learned, when I started to play guitar, I started learning with my fingers. At that time, a finger style. But, uh...
Yes, I do, but I like very much the sound of the acoustic guitar also. I might mention that the intro on the, this last number was played by Doogie Trenier, and it was played exactly as May Bell Carter played it on the record. How did you get from stealing your brother's guitar and replacing it under the bed to playing across the country now, which is what you've done? Well, I moved down to uh, Halifax, and I started guesting on the Don Messer show. How old are you then? I think I was around 21. 22. And after this, I was lead guitarist for about a year for Cross Canada Barn Dance, a country show that was taking place at that time. Had, at this point, did you have much experience playing in front of live audiences? Because it's, it's, it's a whole different thing. Well, yes, I had. I, I started at, a, at an early age playing for garden parties and square dances, and we had no fiddler in our vicinity, so I used to do the square dances on guitar. With no fiddle? With no fiddle. And you, yes. must, you must have been good. I played you. the fiddle tunes, and somebody accompanied me, and the people danced the square dance to that. Well, that would uh, speed up your fingering, I would imagine. Well, it was a good help for sure. Yeah. So once you started doing television, what after that? Well, after that, I moved up to a place called Carleton, Quebec. And I went to work there for eight years in a TV station as cameraman and a photographer, but I also had a program on five nights a week, 15 minutes, with my own band. And uh, when the band couldn't make it, I used to sit on a stool in front of the camera and play classical music for 15 minutes. <laughs> That's where your mother's training came in handy, I guess. Why Quebec? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I don't really know, uh, except to say that the producer of Cross Canada Barn Dance in Halifax, a fellow by the name of uh, Swim Boucher, he was a French fellow, and he moved up to Carleton as manager of the TV station at that time, and he talked me into coming up there. So you uh, were buying a pig and a pony in a way. <laughs> he, first he told me the beautiful hunting was there and everything, so uh, he got me. Nice, Grampy. <laughs> That's okay. No, actually, I got the bells in there too. It's all right. It's good stuff, Grampy.